party till we die! Welcome back guys, so today we will be starting Laplace transformation So let's get the introduction part done So let f of t be a function of a real variable Suppose t that is So t is less than equals to 0 and from less than t greater than 0 and less than infinity then the Laplace transformation of f of t is denoted by L within third bracket f of t so this is and it is defined by L of f t that is equal to from 0 to infinity e to the power minus p t f of t dt where p is a complex number so now there is a note so since the Laplace transformation is a function of p so function of p So it can also be denoted as f star p. So hence we'll get something like this f star p that will be equals to l of f t. So this can be written like this. So and that will be zero to infinity e to the power minus p t f of t dt, where p is the only parameter. So now we'll see what is gamma function. So gamma function so so it is denoted by it is denoted by gamma n and defined by so this will be 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx where n must be greater than 0 so now we will see some properties related to gamma function so number 1 gamma n plus 1 that is equals to n of gamma n number 2 gamma n plus 1 that is equals to n factorial this is only when n is a positive integer and number 3 gamma half that is equals to root pi so these are the three properties related to gamma function so this is all about laplace transformation thanks for watching it